For the kitty hat, you're going to need one Bagsmith Big Stitch Alpaca Bump, or they do actually make mini bumps now, so you could probably get two or three hats out of a mini bump. I don't have one of those yet, so I've got big bump. And you're going to need a 47 inch long US 36 or 20 millimeter circular needle. You could probably get away with 40 inches, but I like uh, the 47 inch length. So to begin with, you put your needle points parallel, points facing towards the right. You find your, <laughs> you find the end of your yarn. There's the end of my yarn. And you sandwich it between the two needle points with the tail coming towards you. Now to cast on the stitches, you have to take the yarn from the back over the top needle and over the bottom, bottom needle to the back and then that's two stitches. So there's one stitch on the top and one stitch on the bottom and I need 18 stitches for the smaller size of this hat. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, oops, stay parallel, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then I'm just going to anchor the end of the working yarn between the needles. So there are our stitches cast on and our yarn coming forward between the needles. So we should have nine on the top and nine on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then to start knitting, you're going to, holding all these stitches on the needles carefully, we don't want them falling off onto the cable, but you're going to pull out the back or the top needle. So you still have a loop of cable at one end and then a loop at this end to knit with. And we're going to uh, knit these stitches, um, dropping the yarn that was between the needles, but making sure that it goes behind the cable. If that yarn doesn't go behind the cable, once we, there's nothing here to knit into. So the yarn goes behind the cable, grab hold of it, and then go into that first stitch normally and then knit. So we're going to knit all of these stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then tail end of the yarn that was between the needles, I'm just going to flip to the back of that cable to keep it in place and then turn the needles clockwise. And then this long end I'm going to push through to get that needle up to the stitches and then pull out the front one and once, that, once those stitches are on the cable then it's easier then to push those stitches onto the back needle. cable out and then we have a loop on this end and a loop on this end to work with and that's called the magic loop and then we're going to knit that one's twisted oh no that's my that's the end take that one off and then we're going to knit these nine stitches one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then turn clockwise again. Push the back or top needle up towards the needle point and then pull the bottom one out. So you easily get those stitches onto the end of the needle and now we've done one round so this is our cast on here and then our one round of knitting and it would be a good idea now to put um, a marker on now, I don't have any markers quite this big so I'm just going to use a loop of yarn that I'm going to make a slip knot and pop that onto the needle to mark the beginning and end of the round and then I'll, sh I'll just knit one more round 
So these, the, the last stitch worked and the first stitch to be worked should be close together. And then knit to the end. Turn clockwise, back or top needle, cable gets pushed through. And the reason I'm pushing and not pulling is if I were to pull from this end, this needle could go all the way through and then I'd lose my stitches. And then pull this one around and knit these stitches. making sure that the last stitch worked and the next stitch too we worked are close together because they're going to form the sides of the hat. So what you're knitting here is one closed end tube, the closed end being the cast on. And last stitch, turn clockwise and there we have two rounds worked. Now I'm going to knit the shorter version of the hat, the smaller version, so I cast on 18 stitches and I'm going to work 10 rounds, so I have 8 more rounds to do. You can see that this cast on looks just like all the knitted stitches. So I'm going to carry on and knit 8 more rounds and then this will fold like so. And this will be the top, this cast on will be the top edge of your hat. So I'll carry on this piece when I'm ready to cast off. And then we're going to bind off. So knit two stitches. Take the first stitch over the second. And do not pull that tight, we need this quite loose. And then we keep knitting a stitch. Oh, my hair's getting everywhere. And then taking the first one over the second one and not pulling it tight. You don't want that to pucker at all. not pulling the stitches to keep them nice and loose and then this bind off makes a really nice border at the edge of the hat Just coming into the last few now and the last stitch Take that loop, pull a bit of the yarn through, a bit here. So I've got six inches there. Snip it. And then join. I'm going to take that end, just cut, place it underneath the two loops of that first stitch, under there, and then back where it came from, so it mimics a 
bind up stitch. And then this end, I'm going to thread through the inside. So you can just sort of weave it underneath the bumps, the pearl bumps on the inside. And then that should stay. And that's hidden. And then you've got like a little bag almost. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the smaller one, so it's quite it's quite snug on me. I think I must have a big head. <laughs>